Dear students, today we are going to discuss about FM demodulation. Let us see the basic FM demodulation process. Demodulation is also called a detection. And the process of extracting a modulating signal from a frequency modulated carrier wave is known as demodulation or a detection. The electronic circuits that perform this demodulation process are called FM detectors or FM demodulators. So demodulation is the process by which we are extracting the original information signals from the frequency modulated signal. There are two steps in the FM demodulation process or FM detection process. First one is frequency discrimination, second is envelope detection. So two processes in the FM demodulation are frequency discrimination and envelope detection. Frequency discrimination process is shown here. First of all the FM input signal is shown here and which is given to this frequency discriminator and the frequency discriminator the output of the frequency discriminator is the amplitude modulator signals that means the envelope of this information signal is obtained and we can obtain the original information signal from the amplitude modulator signal by the envelope detector which is the AM detector circuit. So FM is converted first into AM signal then AM will be converted into original modulating or information signals and this is done with the help of frequency discriminator and then by envelope detector. First one is step one frequency discriminator. Frequency discriminator converts the frequency modulated signal into the corresponding amplitude modulated signal by using the frequency dependent circuit. The output of the frequency de dependent circuit depends upon the input frequency. So in the second step, in the first step we obtained AM signal corresponding to the FM signal and in the second step AM detection is done using the envelope detector. The original modulating signal is recovered from this amplitude modulator signal by using the linear diode envelope detector and to demodulate the FM properly the amplitude of the output must be proportional to the frequency deviation of the input. See here there is a frequency discriminator and here the demodulation takes place by here the amplitude of the output the output will have a waveform and it, here its amplitude will be proportional to the frequency or deviation of the input that means for higher frequencies the amplitude should be higher and for lower frequencies the amplitude should be lower that is shown here so here the frequency deviation to amplitude conversion is taking place so to demodulate the fm properly the amplitude of the output must be proportion amplitude of the output of the discriminator must be proportional to the frequency deviation of the input this results in the characteristic s curves for many fm detectors the output voltage is proportional to the frequency deviation over a range at least equal to 2 delta. You can see here the diagram. This is the characteristic curve that is relating the frequency deviation with the output voltage. And the deviation is the distance the signal frequency moves above or below the carrier frequency. Suppose there is a carrier frequency which is the center frequency. And here the deviation is shown by the distance from this carrier frequency. So here Fc plus delta F means that the frequency is deviated from Fc central carrier frequency by an amount of delta F. So in order to demodulate the original FM signal, the output voltage is proportional to the frequency deviation over a range at least equal to 2 delta. See you can see here that here this is delta. So at this at that time the output curve is linear that means output voltage is proportional to the input frequency similarly in the negative frequency deviation also the output is proportional to the input frequency so from the this linear portion that should have at least two delta two delta region then only we can demodulate the fm signal okay let us see here we have a curve which is see, in the form of S shape that is why it is called characteristic S curve and that is for the FM detector and the sensitivity of the FM detector can be given as KD will be equal to V out by delta where KD is the 
detector sensitivity in volts per hertz and V0 is the output voltage and delta is the frequency deviation required for the output voltage. So, the sensitivity of the detector is the slope of the straight line portion of the S curve. See here, its slope is given by the sensitivity. Okay. Next, let us see the different types of FM detectors. FM detectors are mainly classified into direct type and indirect type. Direct type includes slope detectors, foster Sealy discriminator and ratio detector. Indirect type shows a quadrature detector and PLL detector. Now, here we are interested in the slope detector and also PLL detector. Let us see the slope detector. So, operating principle of the frequency discriminator is slope detection process that is frequency discriminator operates on the principle of slope detection and its operation depends upon the slope of the frequency response characteristics of a frequency selective network see discriminator is a frequency selective network and its output is an output voltage which is directly which is directly proportional to the input frequency so principle of slope detection is Here is a tuned circuit. You can see here. Here the FM signal will be given as the input to this tuned circuit. And the output of the tuned circuit is a voltage variation corresponding to the input frequency. For higher frequency or higher frequency deviation, the output will be higher. And for lower frequency variation, the output will be lower. Output voltage will be lower. See, here is a tank circuit. You know that what is the function of tank circuit? It will produce a particular frequency. Okay. For which it is tuned for. Here, it is tuned for a frequency. Let us see. It is tuned for a particular frequency. Once, you can see here. Whenever the input FM modulating frequency is increasing. Or if there is a higher deviation of this frequency. From the central carrier frequency. So the output will be higher. Output voltage of the this tank circuit is higher. Tank circuit will produce a particular frequency or particular oscillation, and the output of that oscillation will be higher when the input deviation is higher. So you can see here that the FC is here. Whenever the input FM frequency is increasing to FC plus delta F, the, and then the output of this tank circuit will produce a higher amplitude. See, this is tuned for FC. Then it will produce carrier frequencies FC, but its output will be varying with respect to the input. So whenever it, the input variation is FC plus delta F, then the corresponding output amplitude of this Tank circuit is higher. So you can see there is a linear portion whenever the output is increasing linearly, whenever the frequency is increasing FC from FC to SC plus delta F, there is a corresponding increase in the output voltage. You can see here. So corresponding to this higher frequency, you can see here the envelope is detected. See, this is corresponding to zero of this envelope modulating signal and the highest amplitude corresponding to the highest of this modulating signal then there there will be a negative portion also and here it correspond to lowest of this modulating signal and here the tank circuit produces an output frequency which is carrier frequency FC that means it is tuned for FC frequency so that we will get an AM signal at the output of this discriminator. So this is the principle of slope detection and once we obtain this amplitude variation at the output you can easily detect this envelope which is the original modulating signal by using an envelope detector. So let us see. Consider the tuned circuit FM signal is applied to this tuned circuit the center frequency of this FM signal is FC and the frequency deviation is delta F. The resonant frequency of the tuned circuit is adjusted to FC plus delta F. 
the amplitude of the output voltage of the tank circuit depends upon the frequency deviation of the input to fm signal so let us see a simple slop detector circuit and there will be two sections first is the discriminator section and second is the envelope detector section so the output of this discriminator circuit is an fm signal and sorry am signal that is fm is given as input and output will be am signal and here it is shown that VAM that is amplitude of the AM signal then that AM signal will be detected that envelope will be detected by the envelope detector and here we are using symbol diode detector as the envelope detector so detected audio frequency signal is obtained at this portion you can see here that FM will be given as the input to this tank circuit here there will be two tank circuit first tank circuit is tuned for the carrier frequency FC and the second will be tuned to the maximum frequency deviation fc plus delta f so this output will be an am signal you can see here that whenever the input frequency whenever an fm signal is given to the input corresponding to the frequency input there will be a voltage variation of the output am signal so here whenever the frequency deviation is maximum then the output of this am will be maximum so the tank circuit will produce a frequency which is equal to the carrier frequency and its amplitude will be proportional to the frequency deviation of this input signal. So we will obtain an AM signal at this output and once we obtain this AM signal you know that AM can be detected by using envelope detector and here we are using diode detector as envelope. So at the positive cycle of the amplitude modulated signal diode will be forward biased. So the capacitor here will starts to charging but it's gonna and once the negative cycle of the carrier appear at the diode it will be reverse biased so charging of the capacitor stops and it starts discharging but it cannot completely discharge because before that next positive cycle will come to this positive of this diode as a result the continuous charging occurs and and this circuit also act as a filter circuit there will be a filter circuit at the output so that filter circuit will remove the ripples in the circuit as a result we will be obtained detected signal that is information signal will be obtained at the output so let us see here fm is applied to the discriminatory or tuned circuit and it converts the fm to am signal and the output of the discriminator is applied to the symbol diode detector with an rc load with the proper time constant and this detector is identical to the am diode detector at the output of the envelope detector original modulated signal or baseband signal is obtained so in the case of fm detection process we are converting the fm signal to am signal and we will be detecting the am signal to original modulating signal so that's all about this frequency discrimination in the next video let us see the indirect method of FM demodulation that is PLL demodulation. Thank you.